This is part 2 of my recap on, I'm the villainous so I'm taming the final boss. At the end of the last episode, Eileen formally dissolved her engagement to Prince Cedric. When she is parting ways with the demon lord, she remembers that he gets betrayed by the one he most trusts. The next morning, Eileen pays a visit to a sleeping Keith. Beelzebuth holds a knife up to him, and Eileen questions what he's been up to. We learn more about Keith. When he was young, he fell into a pond, and the demon lord saved his life, using his magic in front of all the servants, which ultimately led to him getting banished. Keith admits he's been selling demons, but Eileen knows the truth, shocking him with the contract for the demon lord's land. Apparently Keith had forged the contract, and ended up getting blackmailed over it. Trying to avoid her bad ending, Eileen swears to help Keith. Later, Eileen recalls an ending from the game. Lilia and Cedric investigate the secret demon trade. They discover that Keith is the culprit and report him to the Demon Lord. They then catch him in the act, and the Demon Lord kills Keith, losing his faith in humans and transforming into a dragon, at which point Lilia kills him with the Holy Sword. Eileen is determined to stop this at all costs. She meets with her team, and they prepare a plan. Keith joins them, but soon the Demon Crow appears from Eileen's shadow, alerting them that they are under attack. Cedric and Lilia are with the Demon Lord. They tell him about Keith's betrayal, but Eileen soon arrives. Cedric says that selling demons is a violation of the non-aggression pact with humans, but Eileen reasons that it is only a moral issue, and not a violation of the pact. Lilia is shocked to hear this reasoning, but Eileen insults her and says it's none of her concern, causing Lilia to cry and run away. Cedric chases after her, and soon Keith enters. Keith is about to confess, but first requests to finish his work with Eileen, which the Demon Lord allows. Keith continues to sell demons as normal, while Eileen and Beelzebuth watch from a distance. The event occurs, just like in the game, as the noble arrives. But when Eileen looks for Lilia, who should be watching from behind a bush, but she isn't there. Keith proceeds with the plan, demanding the noble hand over his account book. When he refuses, Beelzebuth throws a fireball into the sky, which explodes with light. Keith takes the opportunity and grabs the book. He makes a run for it, and shows off his skills as he fights off the henchmen. Keith prepares for the second part of their plan. Because of the non-aggression pact, demons are not allowed to attack humans, However, Isaac suggests that there would be no problems if the demons dug holes or accidentally dropped chemicals onto people. The henchmen fall into their trap, and the demon crow dumps a mysterious substance onto them, which blinds their vision and makes them sneeze. Eileen worries this might be overdoing it, but they catch the noble and his men. Eileen is glad that this should stop the demon lord from awakening, but suddenly Keith gets knocked out while Cedric and Lilia appear. Lilia takes out the holy sword but Beelzebuth charges at her. Lilia panics and cuts him. The cut burns him, and Lilia becomes distraught, as she had only intended to use her sword as a threat. Prince Cedric grabs Eileen, telling her he will make her his second wife, and knocks her out. Keith and Beelzebuth report back to the Demon Lord. Keith admits his betrayal, and apologizes he couldn't protect Eileen, who helped to redeem him. He tells him that Cedric kidnapped Eileen, and the Demon Lord quickly teleports to save her. When Eileen wakes up, she finds herself chained to a bed. She asks what Cedric is planning, and he tells her that this is the only way for the Emperor to accept Lilia. The others leave the room, and Cedric begins to undress Eileen. But soon, she is found by the Demon Crow, who alerts the Demon Lord, and the room begins to shake. The room is torn apart, as the Demon Lord descends. He sees Eileen chained up and becomes enraged. His hand transforms, and he blows Cedric away. As he confronts his brother, the Demon Lord begins to awaken. Eileen realizes that she has become the trigger for his awakening. Lilia rushes to Cedric, and he tells her to ready the Holy Sword. Eileen realizes that their plan was to make the Demon Lord awaken, so Lilia can slay him and be recognized by the Emperor. The Demon Lord continues to lose it and transform. The Demon Crow manages to break Eileen free from her shackles. She tries to get him to calm down, but he can't control himself and completely transforms into a dragon. Lilia plans to end his suffering, but as she charges at him, Eileen jumps in the way and gets stabbed. Lilia is shocked and tries to pull out the blade, but Eileen grabs onto it. She thrusts it into herself, saying she also has the blood of the Holy Maiden and claims she will be taking the sword. Lilia can't believe what's happening, 
and Eileen tells her that she is the real main character. She absorbs the sword, and rushes to the demon lord. She begs him to return to his human form, and as she cries, her teardrop falls onto him, and he is able to transform back into a human. Eileen is able to achieve an ending that was never in the game. Back at her home, Eileen rests, and her father tells the demon lord that Eileen decided not to expose Prince Cedric's actions to the public in exchange for the demon lord's right to inherit the throne to be reinstated. The demon lord says he has no interest in the throne but Eileen's father tells him that he will only give his daughter away to the emperor. So he changes his mind and agrees to become the next emperor. The demon lord becomes the crown prince and officially gets engaged to Eileen. Eileen teases Cedric about supporting his brother, and the demon lord lifts Eileen up into the air. Eileen gets embarrassed, and the demon lord tells her she can run, but Eileen corrects him, saying she is the one that has caught him. But that's where this video ends. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.